Oh, hello. Oh, hello, friends. My name is Teacher Marian, and I am super duper duper happy to see you again. Have you ever played a team sport in school or maybe with some of your friends? When you play a team sport, you have to be in one of the teams. Sometimes you can choose which team you play for, but sometimes the team captain chooses who gets to play in the team. And when you have to wait to be picked by a team, it's one of the longest waits ever. If you're some of the last people chosen by a team, it means while everyone else is cheering, go team! You're probably thinking something like, they don't want me oh. and I don't want to be there. The truth is we don't all have the skills to throw balls really far or run really fast and that is okay. What's not okay is being unwanted. <laughs> Thankfully for all of us, Jesus wants everyone on his team and Jesus wants everyone everywhere to follow him and be his friend forever. So no matter what we can or cannot do, no matter what we have done, no matter what we look like, no matter where we live, Jesus is alive and he wants to be your and my friend forever. And that kind of good news makes us all want to say, go team! So when I ask you, who wants to be your friend forever? I know you can say Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Are you ready? Here it comes. Who wants to be your friend forever? Yes, Jesus wants to be my friend forever. You got this right. Now, before we hear more about this, let's move and let's sing and just celebrate Jesus together. It's time to worship. Can you please stand up? I count, okay? One, two, and three. Stand up, please, and let us sing together with all our heart.
Hi friends, welcome to my clubhouse. My name is Teacher Barry. I'm glad you're here. I love playing soccer. Have you ever played soccer? Did you have a soccer coach? A soccer coach teaches you everything about soccer. First, to get ready, you stretch. Can you stretch? Now, stand up with me, okay? Now, reach down and touch your toes. Great job! Then, we practice running. Can you run in place? Good running! Now, you can sit down. Then, to play the game, a coach will tell you to follow the ball. If the ball goes this way, I run this way. If the ball goes that way, I run that way. Then, when I'm close to the net, I can kick the ball in the net. Being on the soccer team is so much fun. I'm going to practice my dribbling. I'll see you later, friends. I'm TJ Christine and I can't wait to tell you a true story from the Bible. Today's true story from the Bible is about the first 12 people who followed Jesus. They were called the disciples. Peter and Andrew were fishermen. One day, while Peter and Andrew were fishing, Jesus told them, follow me. And Peter and Andrew followed Jesus. James and his brother John were fishermen too. They were working with their dad when Jesus said, follow me, and James and John followed Jesus. In the next town, Jesus found a man named Philip. Philip followed Jesus and brought his friend Nathaniel to follow Jesus too. Next, we have Matthew. Matthew was a tax collector and had made a lot of bad choices. But Jesus still loved Matthew and wanted to be his friends. Jesus told Matthew, come and follow me. And Matthew did. Matthew followed Jesus. There was also Thomas and James, Thaddeus and Simon and Judas. Do we have all 12 disciples? Let's count them already. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. These were Jesus' 12 disciples. That was his first team. Go team! But that's not all for this story because Jesus isn't done yet. Jesus wants you to be on his team too and your friends and your family because Jesus loves everyone and Jesus wants everyone to be his friend forever. Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Yes, Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Thank you for listening to the Bible story, friends. Our story time is over, but we are not through. We need to do one more thing, and that's to talk to God because God loves you. Dear God, thank you for the disciples who chose to follow Jesus. And thank you for sending Jesus and that we can follow him too. He is the best friend forever. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. It's pop quiz time. I'm going to ask you some questions and you're gonna to have to think really hard to remember the Bible story so you can answer. Are you ready? Okay, question number one. Who were the disciples? Were they Jesus' followers? Were they Jesus' cousins? Or were they Jesus' friends from school? That's right, the disciples were Jesus' followers. Question number two, how many disciples did Jesus have? 10, 11, or 12? Yes, Jesus had 12 disciples. Here comes the last question. What did Jesus say to get his disciples? Did he say, come, follow me? Did he say, come, I have candy? Or did he say, Come, let's play! 
You got it. Jesus said, come, follow me, so that his disciples will follow him. You all did it. Thanks for playing Pop Quiz with me. Hi, IES kids. Let's do the memory verse and do the hand motions together. Ready? I have called you friends. John 15, 15. Let's do it one more time. Ready? I have called you friends. That's right. John 15, 15. I love this verse and I love that we are friends. Jesus also is our friend and he wants to be our friend forever. Let me ask you this, who wants to be your friend forever? That's right. Jesus wants to be your friend forever. Can we say that one more time, friends? Who wants to be your friend forever? Yes, Jesus wants to be your friend forever. Great and have a blessed week. God bless you. Wow, Jesus wants everyone to follow him and be his friend forever. I think I get the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it, good. The disciples were the first 12 people to follow Jesus and be on his team. And I love that we can all be friends forever with Jesus. Go team! See you next week, friends!